How dare you? Yeah, so to be honest, I don't know how many of you would be shocked to know that Wonka, yes, this Wonka starring Timothy Chalamet, a movie following an origin story about a bloke that invented his own chocolate factory, was the 8th highest grossing movie of 2023. And I guess judging by these box office numbers, that shouldn't really come as a surprise to a lot of you. It looks like I'm in the minority here. And with updates pretty much weekly on my Twitter telling me about the financial triumph that Wonka was becoming over the weeks long theatrical run it was having, it seemed not only fair to this movie and to the people involved, but to myself for, yet again, braving the trenches of Hollywood's greatest weapons, their theatrical flops and television slop. A true test of strength in 2023 not only for myself, but I imagine for a lot of you here. So I knuckled down, checked my local theaters for some showings, called up my mates and pulled up to the theater chocolate in hand and ready to be thoroughly impressed from my own superficial hype. And well, it's crazy to say that this movie did not disappoint and honestly, kind of blew away my expectations. Wonka is not only a surprise musical, a spoiler and aspect of the film that I'm sure a lot of you have already heard following the movie's initial release, but a surprisingly good and incredibly charming movie following relatable, fun, and charismatic characters, memorable musical numbers, over-the-top and whimsical set pieces, dialogue that doesn't seem or feel like it was cut from a second-grade storybook, well, at least not all the time, an enjoyable cast with grace and integrity to not just turn in a performance for a quick buck, quick-witted jokes that actually land and fit the tone of the story, and well, this is just another role and performance for Timothy Chalamet to add to an ever-growing resume as a leading man in his young career. As someone who, don't get me wrong, I don't want to say I don't like musicals, but definitely a patron that doesn't go and seek them out, either on the big screen or even in real life, I was thoroughly shocked by how immersive and engaging the characters, world, and songs were right from the jump. And while I imagine that I'm going to mention and describe Wonka as charming throughout the entirety of this video, I think it might be time to start asking the question, is Timothy Chalamet box office? While it is no secret on this channel, or I think even in the casual side of the movie going community at this point, that the role in Idol that was the movie star is a long dead aspect when it comes to Hollywood, except for Tom Cruise. And while actors such as Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Tom Holland, and definitely the face that Hollywood wants to promote the most in Chris Pratt would be counted as movie stars in this weak-ass era of Hollywood that we're living in today, Timothy Chalamet is slowly but confidently etching his name into the realm of actors that takes and excels at enough roles outside of his comfort zone and an actor dedicated to his craft enough to be taken seriously. Think Brad Pitt, Leo, or even a prime Will Smith but definitely unlike the aforementioned actors I just mentioned. But this isn't a video discussing the respectable career that Timothy Chalamet has made for himself. This is about Wonka and how I believe a surprise musical just became a surprise classic. So let's talk. Don't worry, this is an origin story of a character that the majority of people already know about, so it's not like there's much going on here. Don't fix what's not broken, just make some moderations. Oh, I should probably say, if you're expecting this to be a prequel type of movie to either Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, depending on how old you are, this isn't it. Wonka follows a much more optimistic and honestly, an unexpectedly pretty deep version of the character. You follow Willy Wonka without a dollar to his name as he sets course to follow his dreams of creating and owning his own chocolate shop in order to share his creative and magical chocolates with the world. In order to manifest and search for the childlike wonder that his mother gave him, Willy charts his course to the Galleries Gourmet, a food market known to the masses as a place that sells the best chocolates from all over the world. But when Willy is swindled into signing pretty much an enslavement contract at a local board and inn, Wait, can I say that on YouTube? Willie finds himself banding with a group of other misfits also unlucky enough to also be swindled by the Borden Inn, as well as battling the already established chocolate businesses that have monopolized the local square. 
But will Willy Wonka be able to charm and win the hearts of the townspeople with his outrageous magical chocolates, earn the money and buy the rights for he and his new comrades' freedom, outmaneuver the bribed local sheriff, defeat the three other corrupt chocolate businesses that have monopolized the commodity, and see his childhood vision and the promise he made to his mother to completion? Well, who knows? Well, I guess we kind of do. The movie's not called Slugsworth, is it? Anyway. So as crazy as it is, because I honestly have no idea how in-demand musicals are in this day and age because we don't get any of them, but the musical numbers were easily the best aspect of Wonka. Much like how Barbie, and I guess most recently with Madam Web, movies with dramatically different outcomes and box office success rates, but two movies who nevertheless were able to hide their true natures and aspects of their movies with blatant mismarketing. And while it became relatively obvious not five seconds into Wonka that we were in for a surprise musical, in this case, much like Barbie, the gamble paid off. And I believe the choice to make Wonka a musical is the most important aspect as to why I believe, not too far down the line, this will become a so-called classic. And while I'm not going to dive into the elements that I believe make up a film like that, because at this point it's different rules for different eras, I would say that one of the main aspects, at least for me, is rewatchability. And with charming and catchy songs that really flow and cement the tone of the movie throughout the entirety of its runtime, it really makes Wonka feel like an extremely easy and digestible watch. And with characters so lighthearted and relatable, not only to adults but chickens as well, it only adds to the immersion and the experience. Wonka is kind of the definition of a feel-good family movie. And in a day and age where it feels like every movie is a funny movie, every movie is going for that good old classic all-around demographic in order to mooch and pillage the most money from patrons so desperate for good content, I'm happy to report that the jokes, the dialogue, and the character relationships were not absolutely mind-melting garbage-tier bullcrap, and there was actual nuance and backbone to the characters and the story that was playing out on your screen. Character motivations that drove the characters that make the decisions that they make, jokes that didn't seem out of touch and destroy the building blocks or tone that the movie was going for, revelations and plot twists while incredibly simple, were effective in pushing the movie and characters going forward in a natural and organic way. And while it seems like everything that I'm saying and the points that I'm making should be pretty straightforward and pretty typical mandates when it comes to the art of movie making, it's not. And you know that. At the end of the day, it's no surprise that Wonka is just now ending its three-month theatrical run because people like me are just now finding out about this late 2023 gem. Hidden in the rough of the online outrage of the just-released The Marvels, shadowed by another prequel of a beloved and highly regarded franchise starring everybody's favorite action hero, Rachel Zegler, and buried under the news of the finale of the estranged and failed DCEU. But I'm no sucker, and I understand when good product is good product. And while it definitely would have been a surprise to me if I told myself I was going to be saying these words when I first purchased my ticket, I have absolutely no problem throwing praises when praising is due. And when it comes to Timothy Chalamet's 2023 low-key but hit movie Wonka, we definitely got ourselves a good one. Of course, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and if you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. I should say follow me on Twitter. I started a whole new account for this channel, so I'm gonna start promoting that more. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you did enjoy, why not click on more while you're at it? Otherwise, that's all the words I got for you today. Bye.